Hi, this is Brian Lopez with the Direct Marketing Agency. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get a domain name from GoDaddy for 99 cents. First thing you wanna do is go to your browser and open up a private window or incognito window. Next thing you wanna do is just go to google.com, search for GoDaddy. And as you can see, this first link here is an advertisement from GoDaddy. And below here is this 99 cents.co or .com sales. So you want to click on that and automatically instead of paying $17.99 for a domain, you're just going to pay 99 cents for an entire year. So once you're here, you're going to want to search for the domain that you're looking for. And what you want to find in a domain is that it pertains specifically to your brand, to your company, to whatever it is you're trying to do with this domain. In this case, I'm trying to use the daily bread and it's not available, or well, it is available, but it costs eight and a half grand. I'm not gonna buy that, so let's just try daily bread. And that's taken, let's try bread daily. And that's available for three and a half grand, not gonna do that. In my case, I already know which one I wanna use, and that's gonna be B-R-E-D daily and that's available for 99 cents. Now, what I do recommend is keeping your branding consistently with your domain name and your company. That way, there's no confusion with the customer or whoever's trying to go onto your website. And the other thing I do recommend is that you purchase the .com rather than the .co or even the .net or .info or any of those other ones. Now, obviously, if you're a nonprofit organization, you're going to definitely want to buy that .org. Or if you're a software company or an app development company, you're going to want to buy that .io, but also buy the .com. So once we've added to our cart, we're going to continue to cart, and then you're going to get some upsells that they offer you. And the first one is privacy protection. And the reason why they offer this is because whenever you purchase a domain, your information is automatically published. And so if you want telemarketers consistently calling you and emailing you about their services, then go ahead and click no thanks. But I'm going to go ahead and click the at least the $9.99 per year privacy protection. And this way I'm protected and I'm not bothered. Uh, the second episode you'll see is to start your website for free. And this is for GoDaddy's builder. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that because eventually it won't be free. And I'm doing something separate with my page anyway. And the third thing you'll see is an email address with your domain name. Now, this is what I would recommend you get because, once again, you want your branding to be consistent all around. So this provides you with an email address that matches your domain and therefore makes you consistent because whenever a business or organization has a Gmail account or an Outlook account as their main contact email, it's just not as professional. So once you're done with all of that, go ahead and continue to cart. Automatically, they'll try to sell you the two-year option. So we're just gonna go ahead and go to the one year. And then we've added the privacy protection to protect our info. And then automatically they'll try to sell you the 12 month program to the email. So we're gonna just, just go ahead and go to the one month and just pay $4.99 for that. Now, if you're new, go ahead and create a new account. For my case, I'm just gonna sign into my regular account. And actually, I already have my card here on file, so I'm just going to go ahead and click that. But if you don't have any cards on file, just add your payment there. Or you can use PayPal, whichever you prefer. And then I have my billing information here. You just want to make sure, once again, that all this is the same as you left it. You have the bredaily.com for one year at $0.99, cents, domain protection at $9.99, and the one month of email essentials for $4.99 a month. And you know what? I'm going to actually upgrade to the 12 month just because it is at a 60% off. And I know I'm going to be using this email for a longer amount of time. And so once you've seen that everything is correct, you're just going to complete your purchase and you're ready to go. So this is just asking you to agree to the terms for Microsoft Office, which is the platform that GoDaddy uses for their email services, which is great because I like using the Office 365. 
So you just accept those terms. This is where you fill out your info. So I'm just gonna put Brian for my first name. Now, if you need it to be an info at breaddaily.com or a contact at breaddaily.com, those work as well. But for this case, I'm just gonna be using mine with my personal name. And here it's gonna ask me if I wanna link some domains. So I already have some available. I'm just gonna click do not share. Administrator permissions, yes, because I only have one account. And for password, I'm gonna click create my own password here. And send account info to whichever your main email account is. In my case, it's my personal email. So once you're done there, you're just gonna go ahead and click create. And it'll take some time to load. You can also input your phone number just in case you want them to text you. And once you've inputted all that information, you're all set. So that's how you purchase a domain from GoDaddy for 99 cents. And I hope you found this helpful.